Oh, we're started? We're going? We're is this? Is this? Because you can't. Is this? Oh, is it? I Welcome think, I think bigger guns go this way. Uh, <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the all-new Stash and Beard Show, live from CTX in Orlando and my house in Lincoln, Nebraska. Oh my gosh, I'm What's awesome. Up, to That's Alan Pilly. We're all kinds of discombobulated, but we're doing it. We're doing the thing. We're we're gonna figure this out. We're gonna keep this going for our, our loyal loyal fanship out there. Absolutely, and things got a little weird with the move, with having internet and getting stuff going. There's a lot going on, but we're back and we are figuring this whole thing out. Um, so thanks so much for dealing with uh, our our delayed episodes. But we're back and we're as controversial as ever, uh, motherfuckers all around. <laughs> we have changed. No, absolutely Lots of not. motherfuckers. Lots of motherfuckers. Uh, and I, uh, I've got a little Miller Lite action. I know it's not a Dan Bell protein shake, but, uh, you know, nah. it, it, <laughs> this will only add about three pounds to your total instead Two. of ten. Two? Come on, Two man. Pounds. Two pounds. It's a I fine know, that's what I used to drink. Hey, oh. I'm just telling you, that's what I used to drink. Ah, Delicious. Where's your, uh, where's your, where's your, where's your cup? You know, my cup yeah. might be back in Orlando. <laughs> no. One pound off your total. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> so, uh, so, obviously you made it back up there. You're yes. home. Yeah. You're situated. That's the yeah. best thing. Absolutely. Nah, you know, it is and isn't, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we made it safe. The It was a 23-hour, uh, no, 22-and-a-half-hour drive. Um, I could have rent. I know. Uh, so the we rented a budget truck, and they were fantastic. Worked really well. Yeah. Um, you know, we loaded it all up. I drove the truck. Liz drove the car. And, man, did we have one moment where I thought we were both going to just have a screaming match with each other. So <laughs> it, it really was pretty smooth. Um, we left Ocala, my aunt and uncle's place, um, early, early on a Friday morning, last Friday. And, oh, there it is. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'll put you <laughs> right over here where you should have been. <laughs> That's fair. Um, but so you so, left your aunt and uncle's house? Yep. Bright and early, 6 a.m. Uh, we drove 14 hours day one. We got to St. Louis, uh, which is a hefty amount of driving. And I'm really impressed that the budget truck didn't like have a cap at like 55 or 60 miles an hour because I would have shot myself if that would have been the case. Um, yeah, they normally go. They get up there. Even on the big trucks, you've got, you've got some good speed to them. I, I was able to put the pedal to the floor, and it hovered at 78 which is exactly where I wanted to be the entire time. Cause Liz wasn't going to be going 80 or anything over. Cause she's terrified of driving at high speeds and getting pulled over. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so I just, I cruised at 78 stopped a couple times. Uh, man, gas is expensive when you've got a 30 gallon tank. <laughs> yeah. And that's were y'all gas or were y'all diesel gas. Okay. Yeah, yeah diesel is more expensive than gas right now. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. And you know, I've, the reason, I've driven all those routes before. So, and the reason why is because of strongman movers. Uh, strongman movers, the best movers in the nation. If you need to move anywhere, strongman movers is the movers to get you there. Yes, I've heard a lot <laughs> about those guys. Phenomenal <laughs> people. Phenomenal people. Absolutely. Um, but where we had the breakdown moment was we were three hours from St. Louis, about six o'clock in the evening. And uh, we're like, okay, we need to, we didn't know where we were going to end up night one. So we were like, okay, let's just find a place that uh, a motel six, whatever will be okay. You know? And so three hours outside of St. Louis, we go, all right, time to find a place. And we look and we look and we look, and everywhere in St. Louis and the surrounding area is full. No vacancy. Zero. And we're like, oh, geez, like, this is so weird. What the hell's going on here? Well, we end up finding a place in Festus, Missouri, 
which is where Liz's aunt lives, Festus, Missouri. And I walk in, and I'm like, all right, we got us booked, whatever, cool. We drive the three hours, get to St. Louis, which we took the back roads of Kentucky to get there because it wasn't off the interstate we were taking. It was off of like another interstate. So I ended up having to take like back roads in this big ass truck. It was terrifying. It was awful. Do not recommend. Kentucky sucks. All right. It's beautiful, but it sucks when you're in a big truck. <laughs> oh, I love Kentucky. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, most everything about it. Like I, like I said, I've driven. The only place I haven't driven is like up north, the Dakotas and Montana. I've driven everything else in big trucks. Really? Yeah. It's and you just get used to it. But like. Yeah. Yeah, the worst part is like getting on and off highways and having to catch up to speed because you don't go as fast as cars. Yeah, yeah. but this was weird because it was literally labeled the scenic view, like the scenic route. And I was going down these hills and like the roads were as wide as the truck was. And I I like saw cracks where stuff was falling off. I'm like white knuckling and I'm like, oh. I've done that in Tennessee up in the mountains. I've been on I've been on mountaintops. And then, yeah. um, dude, driving through like Nevada and Arizona, um, these are up and down the mountains and you're literally, you're like what I call skiing. And, uh, I've been out there with damn near no gas in the truck. So the truck turns off and we ski down and we turn the truck on and we go up the mountain, turn it off, ski back down. No, like, well, that sounds it terrible. It, all. it is. It is. Cause you're stuck out there in the mountains, man. You've got nothing. Yeah. Uh, you're searching for gas stations. Uh, you're riding you know, uh, that, that thin white line off to the shoulder, you can mm-hmm. see over into the mountain that I'm just like, this is, this Couldn't is how I go. Nope. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, bad. I'm not afraid of heights by any means, but like, I'm afraid of, I guess, vehicles going off of, off of cliffs. I oh, guess that's what I'm scared yeah. of. Yeah. <laughs> Which is why I um, moved somewhere completely flat. <laughs> <laughs> so that, so I've told you the story. I drove Kansas and I, like you listen to the truck hum as you're like picking up speed. And I'm like, mm-hmm. why? Well, it's flat. You look out to the left or the right and you can see like the rolling hills. Like, so it's yep. not necessarily flat. It does go up and down as you're right. driving. You yeah. know, but for most intents and purposes, it's, it is flat-ish. Right. Yeah. You yeah, know? yeah. 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 Um, but how but far out of, of St. Louis is Festus? It's about 20 miles ish. Um, it's on I-55 is where is the interstate that runs through it. But here's the thing. So I pull in to La Quinta and I'm like, all right, cool. I walk in, there's a no vacancy sign. I'm like, no worries. I've got a reservation. And I said, hi, my name's Austin Postolka, famous of the Stash and Beard show on, on YouTube. And they went, oh my gosh. No, they didn't. They said, I don't know who you are. We don't have a reservation for you. And I went, is this the Quinta in by Wyndham, blah, 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 July 10th? He said, sir, it's June. Oh, no. Yeah. So I booked a hotel room for next month in Festus, Missouri. And we're, we're scrambling at this point. We're like, we, we, I don't know where anything is. We, we don't have – There's we in the five hotels that were around – this Festus, Missouri, there was one room, no TV, two queen size beds, and it didn't allow cats, but we really like mission impossible, impossible our way in uh, and got well, the cats inside. <laughs> it sounds like you two are about to have a breakdown knockout argument anyway. So two beds probably would have done just fine for y'all. Yeah, absolutely. We did sleep separately. We were like, oh, you know, we're, this is fine. We'll wake up in the morning and we're just going to go like, <laughs> cause Liz was so worried about the cats and, and to, to her, to, to be fair to her, she had done a move with cats before, not our cats, but when she was growing up, they moved from Carothersville, Missouri, which uh, is a town that holds uh, civil war reenactments where the South winds. Um, so <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let that sink in for a moment. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> Man, I'm never going there now. Don't, don't do it. Uh, but from Carothersville to Holdridge is like where where I grew up and where we ended up meeting is like 12, 13 hours. And they had two cats, and her parents did not give a fuck about these cats 
at all. They she they didn't put him in a cage. They just were like shove him in and didn't give him a litter box or anything. And so these cats were just pissing and shitting everywhere. Um, in the car. Before. And so Liz was traumatized by that. So she was like, I've got this big dog kennel. You know, I'm going to have places for them to hide. I'm going to have this. Blah, 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 blah. So Liz was panicked about the cats the entire time. And I'm like, well, I kind of like to go out for dinner. You know, this is a big road trip. She's like, we can't leave the cats. I'm like, cool. We're just going to fucking drive then. <laughs> We're going to get there. And then we'll enjoy our time once the cats have gotten into a house. So... Uh, yeah. here's how I would have handled that. Yeah. Stay here. I'm going out to dinner. I'll bring <laughs> you a doggy bag back. <laughs> I, what I should have done probably, but I wanted to spend time with my wife. You know, it's a, it's a drive. It's, it's one of those things where it's like, uh, you know, we're, we're never going to do this kind of drive again. Like, let's be sentimental about it. Uh, it was, the, it was a mistake on my part. It was absolutely. Uh, yeah. Part. I can tell that you're, you're a noob at this. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You, I don't. Okay. So when I move people, you're paying me to move you. So I'm like, yo, get the f to Nebraska. Yeah. When you want to go take a fucking road trip, I'm like, get the f out of the car every 20 minutes. Yeah. Let's stop at every gas station. Let's find a reason to have to take a piss, spend some money. Like, I don't want to do this. I don't do road trips, but now yeah. it changes. When I'm in my outfit, my uniform, it's, oh, I got to take Austin to Liz in Nebraska. Yo, I'm there. Like, your 23 hour, two day trip, I'm there in one day. Yeah. We, I alternate yeah. with my partner back and forth, and we drive to where we're to you. Like, yeah, like, I don't know. That's it's, but I can just tell it. You know, oh, that's no, no. <laughs> you stay here. Fuck the cats. I'm getting food. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, uh, and Liz was very much that way. Like, I got to get there as fast as possible. And I was like, but would not. And no, it was a bad idea. It was a poor choice on my part. <laughs> So, but we're here. We've moved in. Uh, we, uh, our house was built in 1921. So it's a hundred years old this year. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Liz is convinced that this place is haunted. You were telling me. Yeah. What's, what's, what's haunted about it? So, so far there hasn't been anything cause we've lived in places that we think were legitimately haunted. Like our, our apartment before our last one, Liz would I wouldn't be home, and Liz uh, Liz would be home and she would hear footsteps in the hallway, and she's like, uh, "Hello," no answer. She'd go look, no one was there, um, and so we've had moments where it's like, "Ah, oh, this feels a little creepy. I don't really like this." And I'm a huge believer in ghosts and demons and all that sort of stuff, so. Like Liz isn't allowed to watch horror movies that have demonic stuff in the house because I don't want that energy anywhere near us. <laughs> uh, but the reason specifically for this one, there were a lot of things that just like shut. So like we have uh, 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 vents on the floor uh, for AC and they're old. So they're just a big square and they've got a, uh, a thing that folds up against the grate, right? That's what stops the air from from flowing through. They have those up in Michigan and Ohio too. Yeah, absolutely. And, and so a couple nights in a row, one of them would go psh, real loud bang right in the middle of the night, and we're like, "Ooh, ooh that, I don't like that." Um, yeah. But but then even more so, the thing that creeps Liz out the most about this place is in the basement. There's a room that so it's an unfinished basement. Uh, nothing too creepy about it, except there is a room that uh, the landlord didn't tell us about. And it's just wooden planks, wooden two by fours. And there's a nail that's been hammered over that you can twist to open the door. You look in, it's just a room with a light bulb. That's it. Somebody died in there. See, that's what Liz said. That's what I'm Liz said. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, why wouldn't the landlord tell you about that? And it's just a room with a light bulb. Somebody was tortured. No, come on. Somebody was tortured. I'm Somebody telling you. Somebody was tortured in Lincoln, tortured. Nebraska, of all places? I mean. Why not? <laughs> Who the <laughs> fuck? Who's going to hear you? <laughs> Either that or that's the room where somebody hung themselves. I'm telling you, look for 
Look for, Look for uh, a noose. A noose uh, yeah. <laughs> like where a noose may have been up in the rafters. I'm telling you, somebody died in that it's room. It's definitely dude. not high enough for anyone to have hung themselves. Like it's, it's she like was a midget. Oh, she was no. a midget. I'm oh, telling you. We're being haunted by a midget now? I'm telling you, she was swinging uh, from, from her neck like one of those little uh, rearview mirror ornaments that people put in cars. She was that tiny of a person. <laughs> And the landlord's like, Fuck it, I got to put a light bulb. And that's where he hung it from where her body was at. I'm telling you. Oh, no. I don't gonna... fuck with basements. No? I not don't... at all. Oh, fuck. No. Dude, I've been on moves because obviously Florida doesn't have basements. Yeah. I've been on moves where there's basements. And I'm like, Austin, help me with this box. And you're like, motherfucker, it's a little box. Dude, come down with me. And then I, if I, you make me go down by myself, I'm sprinting back up the fucking stairs. I don't do basements. Why? What? What's the... Uh, like... I just... Just for reasons like this shit right here, this unfinished shit. Like, there's just like, no, I don't do basements. Man, it's going to be really funny when I literally am doing this show from my basement because that's where my office is going to be. And, and then I'm going to see this little midget flying just, in the back, like a corpse. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling just you. Right here, just right over my shoulder. See, yeah. I'm like, oh my God, there's you. Oh no, it's Carrie. Linda. Yeah. That would be a good name for it. It wouldn't be Carrie. That's copyright. From, from, from 1921 in Nebraska? Yeah. Ethel. Yeah. Ethel. Ethel. No, Her it's name is Ethel. Ethel. <laughs> it's, it's Ethel. <laughs> Ethel's a very fitting name. <laughs> and she yes, made porridge. Is. She made porridge for the neighbors. Oh, uh, well, good for her. You know, real, yeah, real blessing to the neighborhood. Hearted. Yeah, she was. She lost her husband. And, and then they found out she was a whore. And then no. like, she just went off the rail. <laughs> just made a big scarlet letter across her chest, and it was all yep. over for her. That was it. She was like, I can't, I can't take this. Poor Ethel, man. I feel bad for her. <laughs> You're living in a dead person's house. <laughs> I mean, it's 100 years old. I kind of expected someone to have died here at one point. So I did a move for a dead person, and uh, the couple called me up, and I get to the, um, uh, the old folks' home. And they show me everything, and I'm, I'm going through, I'm taking inventory, and we're about to move. I start the clock, and I said, okay, this is what's going. And I get to the bed, and I said, hey, is the bed going? And they're like, oh, no, this is where my mom died. And I was like, whoa. I was Ooh. like, what? And they're like, dude, I swear to God, I've already moved shit, okay? And they're like, you know, the boxes, so I'm moving all the shit down. And they're like, yeah, this is where the bed, you know, and this is where she died. I'm like, guys, um, I, ain't, I ain't moving that. I'm sorry. <laughs> and they're like, no, 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 we're, you're good. We're going to take it. I'm like, okay. Ooh. So I was like, what else? What else, you know, did you put the dead body on the couch? I was like, yeah, the couch is going. <laughs> so now, now it sounds like I'm being disrespectful, but I was like, okay, I need to know if you slithered the dead body on all this shit. I ain't touching shit where this dead body. This is a true story. This is a what true you, fucking story. Hold on. What do you have against dead bodies? Because it, it's fucking creepy. It's creepy. I'll move beds where literally you just got done fucking. I yeah. walked in on that. I've had customers be like, hey, bro, give me 30 minutes. And I'm like, oh, okay, like, what do you want me to do? I'm here early. <laughs> They'll come to open the door, walk me to the bedroom, and the bitch is getting fucking Oh, uh, no. Impressed. And I'm like, oh. you you just got done fucking. You just got done fucking, and I got to move this bed. And like, yeah, it goes. And I'm like, you didn't think of me. The fucking Febreze this shit, bro. Like, <laughs> so I've done that shit. Uh -huh. I literally have done that shit. And then like dead body, I'm just like, okay, like freshly dead bodies. Like, no, I'm not. A, perfect, a perfectly clean bed. They've washed the sheets, but they dead body. died the day before and you <laughs> slithered your dead parts all over. I ain't fucking doing that shit. <laughs> Take the bed just and rub it. We're just rubbing yeah. grandma on, on yeah. the fucking bed. You know, she's like, man, this was her favorite stool. She takes her hand and rubs it on the stool. Like, rub grandma the on the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, we actually kept it. her in the fridge for a while. It was crazy. <laughs> Man, She's this in the fridge, freezer, feels, by the way. Like, <laughs> this fridge feels 110 pounds heavier than a normal fridge. What's going on here? <laughs> Dude, I, I swear I've got some stories about moving men. Like, but yeah, yeah I, the, the dead body. So it was just the bed. We were good. I was like, okay, y'all take the bed. I'll take the rest of the shit. And that's that's how that panned out. <laughs> wow. Dude. Yeah. That's crazy. That's insane. So do you believe in ghosts and hauntings and shit? I do not. Um, okay. I don't believe in. Um, I don't believe in talking to the dead. I don't believe, you know, like my parents. I don't be like, hey, mom and dad. I don't believe in that shit. I don't be like, oh, hey, Alan. Like, you know, like, <laughs> oh, mom, you're sitting here on the. I don't believe in that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Um, I I don't believe in heaven the way that uh, most spiritual and religious people do. Okay. You're. I've got 
your your amount of dirt, you know, until mm-hmm. until the the second coming. That's what we believe in. I, or I, I believe in personally. Okay. So I don't believe in that shit. I don't believe that my mom and dad will come talk to me, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, shit like that. Um, I, I obviously I believe in memories and I believe in you know the conscience and sure uh, little things like that. What, what people would call the Holy Spirit. I believe in like that type of stuff, but I don't sure. believe in like. You know, oh, Jesus came and sat on my shoulder and whispered in my ear. I don't believe in that. Yeah. Interesting. So that's kind of that that is interesting because especially for someone who doesn't want to deal with dead bodies, <laughs> like for me, a dead body, I don't give a damn about. Like, it's just a it's just, it's a body like, yeah, it's important, you know, in, in what we believe, you know, you you are 100 percent your spirit and your 100 percent your body, which is why in the Catholic Church, you aren't supposed to like do cremations and all that sort of stuff. Right. Yeah. Um, so like. Like when it comes to having a dead body, I'm not like freaked out by it, but like the idea of a, a spirit or something like I love like ghost adventures, those shows. I freaking love those shows because that's something I want to do. I want to like go. I don't want to like talk to demons. I don't want to like, hey, demons, come fuck me up. No, fuck that. But like, oh, hey, this place felt a lot of sadness at a time. I wonder if that translates again or if that, you know, all that sort of stuff. I'm curious about that. I love that. So being being from Mississippi, we'd go 60 miles over to New Orleans and they have like the graveyard tours. You know, you can ride in the yeah. horse and buggy and you can go through Fuck that. Like, no, I'm not doing any of that. <laughs> um, like you used to see in like horror movies and shit like that. Like you go, oh, let's ransack a tomb. I don't do that shit either. Like, yeah, I don't I don't believe in that shit. But what I do believe in is that that shit is scary. And I don't I don't go in the woods. I'm mm-hmm. not that white guy. Okay. Oh, I'm not so you're the guy not, that you're, says, you're oh, not the no, let's no. go explore. No, I'm not like, Fuck, what was that sound? Quick, like, grab the firearms. Let's go look. I'm like, motherfucker, shut the door, lock it. Let's go back to bed and let's leave it alone. <laughs> I'm, I'm not like, oh, I heard some footsteps in the basement. Let's go check it out. Why? No, fuck that. I'm just like, hey, whoever's down there, let them be. Let them be. And, you know, uh, maybe they'll run away. I don't want to go investigate. I am the investigating white guy. I absolutely oh. am. I'm the main character of every horror movie. And like eight out of 10 times, I think I survive, but like, you know, but I'm scarred for life for what I saw. So <laughs> no, I want to be, I want to be that typical character in the movie. Just, just kill me off. You know what I'm saying? Because it's <laughs> be what the happens. First one. Be the first, because you have the first motherfucker, right? I don't want to be the last two in a horror movie because yeah. the last two in the horror movie have seen and been through some shit. Mm-hmm. And I don't want, I don't want to do that. So just off me. Just off me so I don't have to go through the torture of dealing with whatever being or entity crawled out of the fucking TV or the AC vent or whatever (laughs) horror movie that I'm a part of. Just off me. Make it quick. Because I'm not going to get away. I'm too big. Okay? I'm only so fast. I'm not flexible enough for this. I'm not. I'm not fitting. I'm not fitting into the attic. Okay? I'm afraid of heights. I'm not jumping off the house. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't swim. I do swim, but I can swim, but I, I'm afraid of the water. So I'm right. not jumping out of the boat and swimming. Right. Okay. Like I'm literally, I'm literally going to sit there, fetal position, close my eyes and pretend that you're not there until you kill me. And that's how I go. <laughs> Just, I'm, I'm not going to fight you. I don't want to, oh. it's not that I can't, there's fight or flight. And I really feel that I'm a fighter, but in yeah. a horror movie setting, no, I'm not, I don't want to do yeah. it. I'm not, this, I'm not fighting. I will say this house does also have an attic. Um, and, and, and the, the, the whole house. so, so I truly think that my landlord, like, so the, no one has lived in this house since June of 2019. So it's been a couple years. Um, and, and I think legitimately they like remodeled all the living spaces and went, all right, we're out of money. We'll rent it to someone so we can then finish the basement. And then, oh, then we can finish the upstairs. Um, but it's, but they like were short on cash or something because it took longer than expected. That's what it feels like because I can open the door to the stairs and I can see the wallpaper that has been there for probably 50 years. Um, and that creeps me out a little bit. I'm going to be 100% honest. <laughs> the- that creeps you out, but the room where a body was swinging doesn't. No, because you can't prove to me that that body was swinging there. You can't be like, there's Ethel. She, she's still there. <laughs> But I also don't have to go into the, could. I, I don't even have to go into that room. That that room stays shut, bolt down. I'm not going in there. I don't have to I don't I'd have to be around it. it. I would board it up. <laughs> yeah. Just just but make wallpaper sure wallpaper freaks you out. 
Well, because I oh because I God. use that I use that room. That's where that's like our pantry. The stairs up is where we like keep stuff. And so now I'm looking at old wallpaper. I'm like, oh shit, this house is used to be weird. I like I don't know. I, there's something about it. It's something. But you're, but you're the investigator type. You just said so. Like you see those horror movies where the little girl looks up in the attic. She's like, oh, I wonder what's in the attic. That's not going to be you in that door. Listen, it might you're not going to try and investigate where somebody was hanging by their neck. Not right now. But maybe, maybe but someday. You will. I know you will. Listen, I'm if my you. cats start we looking around at stuff and like pawing at things that aren't there, you know for a damn fact I'm breaking out one of those boxes from Ghost Adventures and I'm talking to the damn spirit. I'm doing it. So I know you've probably heard cats are like they supposedly – they can, see the dead. They or can see the sense. other. Yeah, they they see the wavelengths and all that. Yeah, they see paranormal activity. Yeah, I've heard that. 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 <laughs> well, we can talk I mean, about. I don't. I don't. Yeah, I don't even yeah. know what to say. I don't know what I would do if my cat started like pawing at the midair. I'm. I don't know. Do I toss <laughs> the cat and I say "fuck off"? I ain't doing this shit today. <laughs> Or do I just fucking move? What about, what say, about you kids? Guy? What about, you've seen the things where kids will will be like, oh, I was like, they draw a picture of the family, and then there's like a black shadow person, and they're like, who's that? And it's like, that's Johnny. He he comes to me in my sleep yeah. and talks to me. So, so two things, uh, my kids, all three of them draw me. I'm the this big head potato being. I'll have to show you Royce's uh -huh. uh, fucking drawings of his dad. I have a beard. I look like a big potato with stick arms. And um, so, so far, nothing. And if okay. they drew that weird ass shit, get the fuck out of here. Go to bed. Go to your room. I don't have no time for this shit. Who is this? I don't, I don't want to, I don't even want to deal with that. <laughs> no, I don't. That's me as a parent. Yeah. No, I'm not dealing with it. Room. I go to your room. Nope, don't ever do that go again. To room. <laughs> and then the shadow person anyway. says, how'd he take it? <laughs> Yeah, right? <laughs> and then he talks to me. I'm just like, oh, you're all right. <laughs> hey, we've got to wrap up. We've got uh, no. more. We, we are going to talk about my new gym that I'm going to. And I have some questions about equipment because for the longest time, I didn't understand different types of bars. And I think I get it now. I'll explain that after this. This is Stash and Beard Show. Later, motherfuckers.